Hey guys, to wrap up the topic of sewing in bulk quantities, we're just going to touch on a few of the finishing details this week. Things like how to package your products and present them to the customer in a way that really just blows their mind. And then the finishing details like label creation and how to really brand yourself and your items in a way that really just gives that professional look. Early on with Liberty Jane, it was really fun. We connected with some girls on YouTube right away and started to see that they would receive our packages and they were creating these opening videos and we could watch them receive the package, open it up and really just like light up and just be so excited by what they saw when they opened the box. And that was before they even got to the actual outfit. So here you can take a look at a few of these, which really are just a fun memory and I'm glad they're still on YouTube, but here's a few um, clips and collections of some of our early opening customer videos. Oh my God, blue wrapping paper. Okay, so I love this blue wrapping paper. I'm gonna keep it. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Sorry. This is my first thing I ever ordered from Liberty Jane, and I am so, so, so excited! <laughs> I'm way more excited than that American girl thing. My goodness gracious. I have a package from Liberty Jane Clothing. Oh my gosh. No way! Oh, look at this! It's a little, a little Liberty Jane bag. Here's a little slouchy gray cardigan. And it has a little official tag and everything. Oh my goodness. And this skirt, this skirt is amazing. Look at this. So pretty. It's like, oh my gosh. This is such good quality. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for shopping at our store. Enjoy. Cinnamon Miles, Lily Jane Club. It's a really cute card. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the box. There's their card. Then, yeah. Oh, I love the little oh, oh, Okay, this is so adorable. Okay, I find this paper adorable. It's got like little polka dots on it. And this is so adorable. <gasps> this is so adorable. Oh my gosh. I haven't even opened anything yet. I just like, oh my god. Look at this little bag. This is so adorable. So that was really fun. I hope you enjoyed that. It's always fun for me to watch that. Um, and if you take a look, you might Google yourself and see if stuff like that comes up because there's girls making opening videos for their clothes all the time. So if you have an Etsy shop name or brand, you might want to Google it and see what you find. So let's talk about packaging in a little bit more detail. There are a ton of examples. You can look on Pinterest and just see a bunch of different things for packaged items, and it doesn't have to be doll clothes, but just people who are selling stuff and really just presenting themselves in that boutique sort of finish and presentation that really just gets people right at that first impression when they open your package. So even though you're selling online, you can still give somebody an amazing experience that really just makes them feel special. And your item will seem so much more valuable when they receive it. And that will really help with customer retention and really just, you know, getting them to come back and buy more because the whole experience is just so much fun for them. So here you can see some examples of just some simple packaging wrapped in tissue paper, tied with ribbon, logo stickers are pretty prominent on a lot of packaging, or you can do paper tags with your logo, punches with letters of your logo that dangle from the package. You can order boxes, plain white boxes are pretty easy to come by, and then you can have stickers made that you put on those boxes. You can do colored boxes, you could have custom made boxes with your logo um, imprinted on there. That's a little bit more expensive because you generally have to order in a large quantity, but if you're gonna be shipping a lot of items, that could be a really great way to really set yourself apart. Some other things to include in your packaging is, is think about what you're selling. So if you're selling doll clothes items and you can some way package in a way that gives them something to use. I love to package any little accessories or shoes in tiny little shopping bags with your logo on it and then the doll can use that bag as a shopping bag. So it creates an additional prop or item or accessory that the customer may not have been expecting. Tiny shoe boxes are another thing that are great to include. 
And there are lots of tutorials. You can find examples of how to make these yourself, which is fun and easy to do. An added accessory like a barrette or a necklace is also something that's inexpensive and easy to include that could be dangling on your package or included with an outfit or clipped, like if it's a hair clip, a simple flower hair clip for a doll, something like that that could be clipped on and sort of be like your signature item on your packaging is a great idea as well. Another great tip that's sort of about the finishing is also about the presentation. So just really think through when you're presenting your items online that your photography is clean. There is nothing distracting in the background. You don't wanna show pictures of your items that people can tell it's in your house. So just create an environment or a backdrop, even if it's just a white piece of foam core behind your doll or your item or a light box. There's some cube style light boxes that can give you that same effect. And then you have a nice clean image and people don't start thinking through when they see your kitchen counter or a cat next to the item or something like that, where it starts to kind of be like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, this doesn't seem very professional, this is homemade versus you know high quality handmade item. As it relates to branding and you think through your logo, your color scheme, and you just wanna make sure that your packaging, your fill for your box, if it's tissue paper or shredded paper, that it all coordinates and all the colors go together and they line up with your logo and it looks very consistent and cohesive. And that gives a really good brand identity to your customer. If you're just starting out and you don't have an Etsy store or an online store selling currently and you're still trying to figure out what's the best brand name, um, things like that, we have some great resources for how to go through that process to figure something out. Simply the first thing is that anything that you're thinking I would Google at first and just make sure that somebody's not already using that name for something else. It's pretty common in the doll space for people to use their daughter's or granddaughter's name and then add words like closet or you know something like that. Um, it's funny with us because when we created Liberty Jane and we were trying to figure out what to do, um, our daughter at the time, she was five or six years old and her name is Liberty Jane and it was kind of like we went through all these names and then we we're like, Liberty Jane, that's great. That's such a unique idea and she has a pretty unique name. But it wasn't too long after that when we started to kind of get into some circles of some other people who sold doll clothes and that kind of stuff and realized that the daughter's first and middle name was super common and a lot of people were doing it. So you just want to think through as long as you have a unique name, it can still work well and you can kind of own that if people are searching for your product. But if you have a common name, you might want to just really think through something else that can kind of give you a unique spin and a good idea for how to brand that effectively. Looking back on our business, uh, for me, it's pretty easy to see that the like partnership between Jason and myself in creating a business that has the artistic element that I provide and the business marketing side and branding side that he provides really complement each other and has really helped us to be successful. So I'm excited to offer to you guys a branding course that Jason has put together and you can look at that and learn a lot and ask him questions and really get his feedback to help you if you are interested in some um, insight into like creating an effective brand name and looking at logo design and that type of stuff. So be sure to check that out. This is a really great topic. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun discussing this and discussing it amongst other doll enthusiasts or just sewing enthusiasts. You People in all sorts of groups selling all sorts of items will be talking about packaging and design, label design, creation, all that kind of stuff for just how to present to a customer. So just be looking for those conversations and be sure to jump in and pick up the information that you can. I really hope that the things that we've discussed and shown um, have inspired you and really just helped you kind of get a better picture on how to effectively present your brand to the public. So just really keep in mind how to have a polished professional look and really just stick to the things that are the core identity of your brand and pull them together and present things in a way that just look complete and cohesive and just give that wow factor when somebody opens a package that's from you.